I'm going, does anyone from the audience want to ask a first question? Yes. Oh my God. In my IC, this was fabulous. Thank you. You're welcome. My question to you is that character development, how did you go from place to place to place with like all these emotions and you know what made what did you do to get there for each emotion uh, she, she's asking about character development and how to how um, I was able to portray so many different emotions um, for me though I've never you know had a boyfriend or a fiance or something you know in prison um, I found that for me as an actor, we have experiences that can relate to that. You know, I've, I've lost someone that I've loved dearly, you know. Um, so for me, that's, that's really what I use to, to push me. Um, but we all go through things in life, and that's what I really enjoy most about being an actor, is you take your life experiences and you put them into the work. Um, so whether it's someone who you lost by death or divorce or something, I think we all can say we found ourselves in the middle of nowhere at some point in our lives. And so for me, I was able to take all of that and put it into the character. Thank you. And I also just, just want to add in here that I really appreciate all of you saying, you know, I apologize for the, for the little hiccup, hiccup that we had with the titles. Um, but I just appreciate all of you staying um, through that, everyone that could understand it. So thank you. Any other questions? Anyone? More questions? Okay, I do have a question. How do you got attached with the film? This is your first feature film, and you were working on TV, and how did you connect with Iowa? Um, well, yes, this, this wasn't my first feature, but this was um, the, the way that I came to, to the, this film. Was yes. your first feature? The way that I came to this was uh, through an audition, um, through a regular audition. Um, initially, this film was going to go in a, in a different direction, you know, in, on a bigger level, a bigger budget, studio and everything, but, but director Ava DuVernay, um, decided to take it in an opposite direction and do it indie. And independent means that you can um, kind of take chances with it. And she gets to tell the story the way she sees it. And so she's from Los Angeles. And this is, um, that's kind of what the beginning of the story was for her, was to tell her experiences of being in Los Angeles. And um, so for me, it was just an audition. And she was able to uh, give people like me, actresses like me, a shot. Um, and that doesn't always happen. So that's what, what has been one of the best things about this. Sure. I, I just have a comment. Sure. Uh, first, congratulations. You are a really good actor. Thank you actress, very much. Uh, we were going to leave because of the problems mm -hmm. of the movie. But we stay because uh, the movie has a particular uh, thing about it that we like. Is that, uh, that we, you, you really get into the actress mood. And I just wanted to ask you, why so much silence? Uh, is there a reason for that? I really appreciate that, that, that comment, first of all, you know, because um, I think that speaks to the filmmaker and her being able to, to tell a complete story. You know, when we go through life, we have moments of silence. Not everything needs to be words, you know. I don't need to tell you I love you. It's the way that I look at you and you'll know that I love you. And that's the way that Ava DuVernay writes, and also she allowed us as actors to live in those moments that we have in life. It's very true to life. Um, and so I think that speaks to just you saying that you stayed. That is what, what captured you, and I think that's really what makes uh, great storytelling, and that's the kind of work that I, that I want to do. So thank you. Thank you. I uh, have a question there. First, uh, I wanted to congratulate you because I thought you were excellent. Thank and you. I really wish you a lot of success. I think Thank it's you. great. And the fact that you're Panamanian makes, makes you even better. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that uh, when I was watching the film and what the gentleman just mentioned about the silence, uh, both, of their, both of the characters' lives, the husband, they are parallel to each other because He's confined in a prison, also living a life of silence, and the way that she processed her emotions was also through silence and through confining herself. So they really had both very similar lives. Exactly. It's just that one was 
physically mm-hmm. confined and the other one was emotionally mm-hmm. confined and then she finally found her release right you know when she met this other person so it was beautifully told beautifully beautifully written and i really congratulate you because i think that you were just so perfect for the role and you're so beautiful thank you very much very <laughs> Yes. Uh, I love the movie, really. Uh, how old are you, and what is your goal in the future in the theater in the industry? Sure. A lady never tells her age. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, my, goal, my goal is to do this kind of work. My goal is to, I mean, I have nieces and nephews that, that look up to me, you know, and, and I don't take that lightly. And I also chose to be an actor because I want to tell good stories. I don't want to act just because. I don't want to simply just entertain. I want to do things that, that have meaning, you know, and in that there will be things that are fun, things, just a variety of things, but I really want to do good work. And so for me, I want to continue on the path of um, doing things that, things where I get to tell my stories and my experiences and the people that have crossed my path. That's the kind of work I want to do. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have time for one more question. Does anyone else have a question? No? Thank you so much. Thank you again for coming. You know, for, for me, on behalf of the cast, um, our director, Ava DuVernay, Omar Harper, who played the husband, David Ayala, well, all of the entire cast, to be here representing them in this beautiful country that belongs to my family as well, really means so much to me. So thank you very much. Thank you again for staying. And I just let you know this film didn't have a translation in Spanish. So to make it available, we made the translations. So that's what we do. The festival brings you a little bit from everywhere. And we want to make sure that was the only way there was an opportunity to show it up. So thank you for staying. And you have, and it's, we don't have a festival if we don't have a public. Exactly. So thank you so much. I appreciate all you staying. And it was worth it. So thank you so much. And name of the festival. Thank you. Thank you.